and now we're gonna check this box right here and then click on yes we'll check this one also copy and replace and that's it it's done it was that quick now let's go ahead and launch GTA 4 again and take a look at the difference in graphics play offline okay Got our little ice enhancer uh, text on the top left there. looks like night. Why don't you show me around the city? Fucking terrorists! What? Terrorists! There's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. We are passing the cab office, Nico. This is the business that will take us to the top of the pile! You without the visa, I would stay in broker. Fucking stay in whole bitch. Everyone like us does. Nico, you ever had two women at once? This is the mansion? <laughs> well, that drive was a lot better than the last place. drive. The mansion is but as you can see, it's much darker. The, the lights me. pop out a lot more. It's starting to look much, much better. However, there is just a little tiny bit of a frame rate loss. But as you can also see, all these cutscenes are also rendered properly too. The uh, Ice Enhancer really does make this game very beautiful. So that's Alt F4, now that we're done showing that. Now, here's where your modding will begin. We're going to install open IV alright now we can close this it'll launch It'll ask us what game we want to use. Click GTA 4. Click on continue. Now it's going to ask us to find the Grand Theft Auto 4 folder. It's nice enough to already lay out the path for us. So click OK. Successful. Version 1.4.0. OK. Click on continue. Alright. And now this is OpenIV. To use this, you just go into whatever. All your cars are in uh, the models folder, CD images, and vehicles. And now for the sake of this tutorial, what we're going to do is replace uh, Roman's car. This is Roman's car, and we were just driving it. Familiar, right? So, what we're going to replace it is with the mod that we looked at earlier. Before we do that though, we're going to back these up. So we're going to select them both, right click, extract, and go to desktop and we got a nice folder called GTA backup alright now that's done we've got these files here now keep your eye on this so file size on this is 490 and file size on this is 164 in kilobytes now let's go download this mod okay let's just open it real quick Minimize.
is our window and now let's drag this to the desktop now we'll go to file edit mode yes we'll take both of these and just drag them right in here now let's scroll down ROM three and a half megabytes ROM 3.1375 megabytes big file change difference that's how we know that it worked now we'll go back to file go to read only mode now that's good we can close this let's close this we'll keep this open and look at the readme file or the install.txt whatever they happen to name it now we'll go in here go into our folder and there's a couple of things that we need to edit to make sure that the car works properly if we don't edit these then uh, the cars tend to flip over and hit stuff and yeah it's real bad anyway first things first handling this does exactly what it says it does it edits the handling um, if you've never modded GTA before uh, these files are not going to open in a file manager you're gonna have to right click open with or just open if you don't have a program to open them with it'll by default bring up this menu and what you want to do is click on this arrow and down here you'll see notepad I already have my notepad up here that's why it's not down here but if you haven't used it it'll be down here and always use selected program click OK and now we have our handling now we'll scroll down oh and one, one more thing word wrap make sure you turn off word wrap because that makes everything all funky so turn that off now we can scroll down now we have our lines neat and organized so let's find Roman hey there's Roman now what we want to do is we want to copy the entire line control C and we want to paste it control V on top of this line now don't worry if the numbers don't match up the game automatically fixes this once it loads it doesn't actually edit the file it just knows which numbers are which so you don't have to worry about trying to fix all this next up the vehicle.ide so let's copy this entire line go to our vehicle.ide scroll down until we find ROM there's ROM and once again we'll paste this entire line oh and one more thing uh, almost forgot to mention these files by default they're gonna have readme ticked on you wanna tick that off because if that's ticked on here let me show you how that looks okay this is what happens if you leave it by default you go to save it's not gonna let you save so you have to untick this box click apply now you can save. See? Easy. So you have to do that for this file, the handling file. Where did that go? Here, you have to also do that for this. And while we're at it, let's save it. Close these down. Now the last file that we're going to open is carcoals.dat. This is the file that uh, it pretty, pretty much tells the game where the corners of the car are how big the car is and what color the car is so we'll go down here find ROM click on end paste save and we're done and that's that we've just successfully edited our Grand Theft Auto while preparing it for modification and now just to let you guys see that it worked we'll uh play this game one more time and this time we're gonna play it with the cutscenes just to show you guys how it all looks when it all comes together
Oh, I can tell why people don't like this mod. <laughs> wow. What? Good to see you, man. What? You forget our language? Capusi? Maybe a little. I've been here ten years. You can speak English. Remember, we learned off the English girls with the big. Yeah, a little. I'm not so will be fine. Better than my Serbian. Ah! So good to see you, cousin. I can't believe you made it. Shit. It was the night last night. Two women. The land of opportunity. Ah! I've made it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's been in still a Dutch drug. Dutch. <laughs> Man, cousin is here. Oh, I got the world in Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, what up? You know, as glitchy as this Just car is during the cutscenes, I still like it. You're in the tank, <laughs> It looks like it's on bricks. <laughs> oh, wow. I still like it. Fuck all you down voters, I still like it. Hey, is this a cab? Where's the sports car? Hey, he's in the shop. Come on. Alright, let's take this thing for a drive. Man, they look so tiny in it. Uh, and when the cutscene's over, it's back to normal. He's just up the road. I'll let you know when we're there. Show me around the city. Fucking terrorists! What? Terrorists! There's been a big scare and you can't go across the bridges so good. You without a visa, I would stay in broker. We are passing the cab office, Nico. This is the business that will take us to the top of the pile. Fucking stay in half beach. Everyone like us does. Nico. You ever had two women at once? Four big titties to be playing with? Mrs. Samda Chiumrati, io tici your right, Chovice. This is the mansion? <laughs> Just a temporary place. The mansion is coming, cousin. That's the dream. Follow me. <laughs> this seems like a good place to end. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed our uh, little video tutorial about how to modify Grand Theft Auto 4. Hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you're not too discouraged. Um, yeah. Get out there and start modding. <laughs>